So my friend keeps letting me borrow these awesome vintage guitars, and I can't help but put them through their paces, try it through different amps, and document the process. So I'm sure you guys enjoy stuff like that too. That's why you're watching my YouTube channel. Let's go through the signal chains that I just used to record this track. First of all, the guitar. So this is a 1980 Gibson Les Paul Pro with its original P90 pickups. This is an awesome guitar. It is in great condition. And guitars from this era just are awesome. We love the volute on the back. Look at that sunburst neck. I'm not sure the exact color of this guitar, but it is very, very cool. And it sounds, you know, how P90s sound, thick and freight trainy. All of the tracks recorded were with this guitar here. Except for the lead, I had to do it with my 1992 Gibson Les Paul Standard, and there's a reason why. First off, this guitar here is the guitar a few videos ago that I repaired the headstock on. I bought this with a broken headstock and repaired it, and I just absolutely love it. It's got its original pickups in it. I think there are 490Rs and 498Ts. I'm thinking about trying the Gibson... Les Paul custom buckers in here. Let me know if you guys have any experience with that. I really want to try it. I went to Chicago Music Exchange and I heard them and I liked them a lot. So I'd like to try them in this guitar, but I don't want to waste 400 to $500 if they're not going to be an improvement. So let me know what you guys think. I do like these pickups a lot, but you know, I'd like to try different things. The lead part was played with this guitar, and we're gonna go through the signal chains on both these guitars. So I layered this guitar, it's, the rhythm is hard pan to the left, then I did another track hard pan to the right. And then that intro guitar I did uh, with this as well. When I'm tracking sitting down, I keep a little stool here, and I keep my leg up on it. It's just more comfortable to me if I'm sitting down tracking. For the main rhythm guitar on the 1980 Les Paul Pro, I went through my JMP50. This went into a vintage Marshall cab with G12M 25 watt blackbacks. It is mic'd with a Royer R121 and a Shure SM57. The lead guitar and the intro guitar, the intro I used the Les Paul Pro going through this 1981 JCM800, mic'd with this biodynamic ribbon mic, it's an M160. I was gonna use, 
right here, this M201, but I wanted a smoother sound, so I decided to go with the ribbon mic, and I'm very happy I did. These Bayer Dynamic mics, the M160 and the M201, are fantastic microphones all around, drums, guitars, you name it, they're just very good. Just one microphone for the lead guitar in the intro. Also, I should mention that I always keep a flashlight so when I'm miking guitar cabs, I can see the speaker very easily where I'm placing the microphone. Comes in handy. If you see a lot of Crown Royal bags in my studio, I buy these on eBay and I use them as microphone covers and they're great. I also went to Home Depot and see that pad in there. That's a spigot cover for freeze protection for your hoses and I just shoved them in there and it is an awesome padded microphone cover. I recommend them very much. So these are the two amps that were used. One is a JMP and one is a JCM 800. So basically all the preamps I use for this track are API preamps. For the main rhythm guitars for the Les Paul Pro, I use this pair of API 312s and this is the Shure SM57 and the Royer R121. And then for the lead track with the Bayer M160, I use this API 312 right here. I'm recording in a Pro Tools, running the tracks through my board. I got a little bit of outboard gear sprinkled on it. I basically have the DBX160 on kick. I have a distressor on the snare. The bass guitar, I have a distressor. The main rhythm guitars, I got the germaniums. The lead guitar is a DBX160 XT. And that is pretty much it. I'm not using any plugins, just pretty much the board, a little bit of outboard gear. I'm not gonna mix this to death. I'm just wanna hear the raw tracks. I appreciate you guys watching my videos. Take care.